first, and then we'll okay. talk about the issues. This is about, it was about a cocaine ring that operated along the west coast of the United States uh, throughout most of the 80s. And they were funneling, um, they were selling cocaine in South Central, they were also selling it in Oakland, they were selling it in San Francisco, they were selling it in San Jose. Um, and some of the money they were making was going to support an army that the men who ran the cocaine ring worked for called the FDN. This was an army that the CIA started in 1981 and supported. Better known to us, most of us who remember the news, the Contras. Right. Nicaragua, cigarette head. The men that were running the cocaine ring were top officials of this Contra army. And what we found was that um, they were selling this stuff in South Central, which is you know predominantly black section of Los Angeles, immediately before the outbreak of the crack cocaine epidemic. They started selling powder, tons and tons and tons of powder cocaine was going into this one small area of the city. And from there, they sold this freeway rick and Freeway Rick took the powder, turned it into crack, and um, starting in 18, 1983, 1984, began distributing it to predominantly the, the gangs, the, the Crips and the Bloods in Los Angeles, and they spread it, you know, from there. From there. Now, this, since, since this has happened, you have, you have butted heads with everybody in Washington, D.C., trying to get information about the story, have you not? Yeah, we, we've, we worked on this for a year. And um, it was only because, you know, some people at National Archives believe freedom of information means freedom of information. We got some documents that showed that pretty strongly there were some CIA connections. To the Let's program. talk a little bit about those documents for a second. Because there's a gentleman, this figure that we talked about yesterday on the show. His name is Blandone, uh, Danilo Blandone, who was a person who was a member of the aristocracy of Nicaragua before the fall of Somoza. And then he fled and comes to the United States and decides while he's in the United States, so you can all understand this, he wants to raise money for their revolutionaries who are trying to overthrow the government to just overthrow them. Right. So here in the United States, they try to do fundraisers and that doesn't work. And then right. Blandone gets a scheme, well, I can get some cocaine cheaply with some help from some of my friends and get it into the United States of America. All I need to find is somebody who can sell it. So they find a gentleman by the name of Rick Ross, who is Freeway Rick. Rick Ross comes in and starts selling cocaine at the terms beginning one or two grams and within weeks two three four kilos a week within months what was it ten to fifteen kilos a day ricky ross was selling cocaine to the point of making three to four million dollars a day he sold so much cocaine it hurt his fingers to count the money not only in los angeles but in cincinnati in st louis all the way across america so some can say and this is the reason why people are so angry at you in your article is that Ricky Ross, the dope dealer, was supplied by the CIA because Blandone was an operative for the CIA, correct? Blandone and Manessas were working for an army that was a wholly owned subsidiary of the CIA. They were meeting with CIA agents. Blandone, and, 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 and this came out in court. I mean, Danilo Blandone is now a government witness. He works for the Drug Enforcement Administration. And we've paid him, I don't know, $166,000 over the last 18 months because he's such a good informant. So they put him on the witness stand in Ricky Ross's case, and he testified that in 1981, he went to Honduras, he met with the commander, the military commander of the, of the CIA's army, and he was instructed to go, set, to go raise money in California for this Contra army. And, and he was told that the ends justified the means. And those ends being sell cocaine if well, you Well, look, he was, in, he was in the room with the Nicaraguan representative of the Cali cartel, Mr. Manessas, and he was in the room with a government marketing expert named Danilo Blandone. Now, if they weren't talking about selling cocaine, I don't know what they were talking about. And this is all information they can find on a website. I have to use that web website. But on a website on the Internet. So we're going to put that up so people yeah. can go you and can look at these documents. Take a look at the documents yourself and, and judge it.